Just having an internet connection these days no longer cuts it. If you do anything that requires high bandwidth like streaming Netflix or Vudu to your TV, if you make Skype video calls to your friends across the country, or if you spend countless hours playing online multiplayer video games, you need a router that can handle whatever you throw at it. And that router is D-Link's new Amplify HD Media Router 1000. The DIR657 with HD Fuel technology lets you watch Netflix and Vudu, play your Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 online, and make Skype video calls all without worrying about skipping or latency that you might get from a standard router. And it does that all automatically by giving you extra bandwidth for video, gaming, and voice over IP calls. And if streaming all kinds of media content like music and movies to all the different internet-enabled devices in your home is crucial, you need to take a closer look. So let's see what you get. Inside the box you'll find the product documentation and the installation CD. Keep the CD aside because we'll need this in just a few moments. We also have the power adapter, as well as the Amplify HD Media Router 1000. You'll be glad to show this off in the entertainment center. Oh, and don't forget the standard issued Blue Ethernet cable. Up front, you have a WPS button for connecting other devices, and unlike other routers, an ST card slot. On the back, you have four LAN ports, an internet or WAN port, a USB share port, a reset, power button, and the power. And connecting the router is easy. First, it's best to place the router near your broadband internet modem. Plug in the power adapter and connect it to the back of the DIR657. Take the ethernet cable and plug it into the modem and into the internet port on the back of the router. Take another ethernet cable and connect it to your computer and to a LAN port on the back of the router. For most setups, it's that simple, but it's also a good idea to set up some security. But don't worry, the installation CD makes it pretty painless. So, insert the installation CD into your computer and follow the prompts to run the CD. The CD comes with many useful utilities, so be sure to hang on to it for later use. But for now, click on the Install button. Read through every word of the End User License Agreement, and if you agree, click on the Agree button. Follow the prompts as the wizard checks the status and the connection of the router, and then you'll be asked to create a new password used to access the router. It's probably a good idea to jot down the password to save you the headache of having to reset your router in the future. Advanced DNS services is a cool feature you can enable, but we'll leave it unchecked. It's definitely a good idea to change your SSID or wireless name to something more recognizable. WPA is the best option for security. You can write down the random key provided or create your own. Either way, make sure to write this down because you'll need it to connect any wireless device. Optimized channel bandwidth is another cool feature you can choose to check or just click next to continue. Lastly, the quick router setup guide provides you a summary of your settings and everything you should know and probably write down. Luckily, your guide will also create a file on your desktop with all the settings too. Give your router a few moments to implement the changes and click on next and then on finished. Pretty easy, right? And if you take a look at the network settings file on your desktop, you can see all the useful information that you should keep handy. Now unplug the ethernet cable from your computer and you can connect wirelessly by clicking on the SSID name you created earlier and entering the WPA security key when prompted. And once you connect, you know you're getting the best wireless performance out there. Now that you just amplified your wireless home network with D-Link's HD Media Router 1000, you're ready for anything the internet has. Whether it's HD video or online gaming, you're ready for it. Thanks for watching.